internal structure internal or histological structure of hydra study in its longitudinal and transverse section gastrovascular cavity sections of hydra show a central cavity or cylinderon functionally known as the gastrovascular cavity it is surrounded by the body wall mouth opens into this cavity which also extends into tentacles as their lumen anus and excretory pores are absent body wall it is a diploblastic animal that is it is derived from two germ layer the ectoderm and endoderm these germ layer form two distinct cellular layers outer epidermis and inner gastrodermis respectively between these two layers is a thin delicate transparent and non cellular mesoglea is situated epidermis epidermis is a composed of small more or less cuboidal cells it is a protective and sensory layer and is enveloped by a thin coating of cuticle various epidermal cells are of following types number 1 epithelia muscle cell most of epidermis is formed by roughly conical or pear shaped epithelial muscle cells that serve both for epithelial covering and for muscular contraction thus each cell has two functional parts epithelial and muscular outer epithelial part extends up to body surface while inner or basal muscular part is drawn out into two muscle processes along the longitudinal axis of body muscle processes contain a contractile fibril the myonemi muscle processes of all cells are embedded in surface fold of mesoglea contraction of these processes shorten the body of tentacle a pair of non contractile supporting fibers extend into epithelial part as well as muscle processes of cell number 2 gland cells these are long cells found chiefly on pedal disc and around the mouth region this secret a mucus like sticky material which serves for attachment protection and catch of prey sometimes they secrete a gas bubble by which hydra can rise to water surface or float intertissial cells these occupy the space between narrow basal ends of epithelial muscle cells they are small rounded undifferentiated cells measuring about 5 micron in diameter each cell contain a clear cytoplasm and a relatively large nucleus with one nucleolus interstitial cells are capable of developing into any other kind of cells such as reproductive glandular stinging and bud etc they are called totipotent or reserve cell generally over a period of 45 days all the cells of hydra are replaced by interstitial cells thus interstitial cells play an important role in regeneration growth budding and sexual reproduction nidoblast many of the interstitial cells of 